thank you for tuning in for the review of the best products available today. These models were chosen from a large variety of products based on their overall performance and review of thousands of consumers that have purchased them through countless hours of research, side-by-side -side comparisons. It's believed that the following products are indeed the best on the market today. Please take a moment to follow the product links listed below to each product for more information. Sit back and relax while you watch the best highly recommended products for this year. Hi, I'm Rich Nance with Wartac CQC. I wanted to share with you one of my favorite features of Viridian products, and that is the ECR Instant On technology. During a fight, during a life and death encounter, your body is gonna experience a number of changes physiologically that's gonna make you less coordinated. Fine motor skills, something as simple as activating a light and laser by simply using my index finger there on that uh, activation button or my thumb on the other side. Those are very simple to do in a sterile training environment, but when you have someone shooting at you or you have someone charging you with a knife, Trying to activate that could be quite difficult. With ECR Instant On technology, you pre-program the unit to the appropriate setting. Right now it's set for light and laser. So all I have to do now is draw and my light and laser are on. Now if for some reason I decide I don't want the light and laser on, at this point after I've engaged the threat and now I may be worried about compromising my position to other people that may be present, I can certainly disable a unit and holster. So ECR technology, it's hugely beneficial. It's there when you need it. If you don't want it, you can certainly turn it off. But it's much easier to initially engage the threat with it on, then you decide whether or not you want it. But having that instant on capability can be the difference between life and death. If you don't have ECR technology, you're doing yourself a disservice. fact you're getting a really high value if you just look at the mounts that are included with this module. In case you don't like the module at least you still have the one inch mounts for other flashlights and different accessories. So the first thing I want to talk about is it's rather large but it's a very bright green laser. It's got a tail clicky on the back which is positive audible and tactile. Now the camera does not do this justice but this guy is blinding so during the day i actually shine this out 100 yards to the tree line and you could pick this up in and amongst the trees at 100 yards in the daytime now it was getting a little bit dusk out but still with the sun out you could see this green laser at 100 yards which is very impressive i'm going to take it down to the range on a dust day and then i've already shined it in the sun in and around the cars kind of where i was parked and you can definitely pick it up at about 25 yards with the full bright sun so a great bright laser but will this withstand the recoil of an ar-15 or something like that only time will tell. I'm not sure what I'm going to mount it to. I have a tendency to mount stuff like this on one of my 22s to try it out, but I really want to mount this on something that can test the recoil. So I'll see what I decide, then we'll head down to the range. But I will update you guys in the future, no matter what happens to this guy, unless it completely falls apart and breaks. So you can actually adjust the windage and elevation on this guy, which is very nice. And a lot of times with lasers, you can really just bore sight them in. And by that, I mean, go ahead, if you already have an optic that's already sighted in, pick a distance. And most of the time you're using lasers for a self-defense situation for a quick engagement. So pick something anywhere between 25 yards and about 15 yards, sight your laser in with the optic, and then there you go. You're kind of already dialed in for those close-up shots. Then you should be good and you can always make the adjustments if you wanna set these up at different distances. But enough talking, let's mount this up to the rifle, head down to the range and try it out. 
Now something like this is not waterproof, maybe a little bit rain resistant, and we'll see about the shock down at the range. All right guys, while I'm down here at the range today, I've got the laser all mounted up to this AR9 from Alpha Shooting Sports. And I wanna give a huge shout out to Alpha Shooting Sports for sending this AR9 up or out to the channel for us to try out for long-term testing. Um, probably about four or five months into testing this guy with zero failures, you can actually get this upper assembly for $3.99 with the coupon code 704. Now I have been kind of playing with the laser but I haven't taken any shots so I'm going to try to block the sun with my body that's why I'm really close up and maybe you'll be able to see the laser on that target I sure can and it is super bright out here so let's take some shots now now that is cool it's definitely like point shooting and you can absolutely hit what you're aiming at, especially close up. So what I'm going to do, guys, is beat this up with a water bottle because I know a lot of guys want to see something like that. So I've got it mounted up to the front. The rifle is unloaded. I've got a small hanging target, but what I'm going to predominantly be shooting at is that large silhouette to see if we can still make the hits. So let's beat this guy up and see how it does. All right, let's chamber around and see if we're still hitting. So the laser itself is still on. Oh, that is really cool. Let's see if I can. All right, so that little guy, I don't know if I was quite sighted in for him, but that is really wild. I'm gonna, so went to go beat the optic. All right, so I put a hole in the water bottle and now we are leaking out. But I want to see if I'm still hitting and see if the laser is still on. That is cool, guys. That is really cool. To be honest, this is the first time I've ever done any shooting with a laser. So this is actually really neat. That is awesome, guys. Really awesome. So in summer, guys, this thing is actually really cool. Worked really well. Definitely about, I don't know, 30 yards and in. Super easy to acquire that, even on this bright, bright, hot, sunny day. I can still see the laser on those steel targets, even though they're painted uh, a bluish color. So picks up really easy, very naturally pointing. The mount is super solid. I beat it with the water bottle. I don't know, I didn't really test like super zero shift like I normally do with optics at like 70 yards, but was still hitting the steel, it didn't break. I mean, that's pretty cool for 20 bucks. Like, I don't think you can go wrong. Now, is a laser for me and my go-to rifles? No, personally, I wouldn't put a, a laser on my go-to rifle unless it was mounted to the top and it was very flush fitting. Um, but this honestly has changed my mind about other options for lasers. For people who may have uh, problems acquiring optic with their eyes, this laser designator is really nice because you can put it on your target and make your hits. Um, also, it was very natural. You can definitely point shoot. So if you do have some type of scope option and you want to then make quick shots, this is great even on a nice bright day. So definitely if you're buying one of these, uh, this is a good one for 20 bucks with those mounts and definitely go with the green laser because this thing was plenty bright on this bright day. So I hope you guys liked the video. Hope it gives you another button.